Steps to the plate with a 354 average on the year. That average goes way down with runners in scoring position, but now that one will peak back up a little bit as around third comes Mason. And in to score is Jordan Mason after the RBI single from Brandon Ginch. Moving over to third is Keith Roberts. And now the captains have runners on the corners with out in the inning, and they are up by a score of 1 nothing over the top ranked Salisbury Seagulls. Closing outfielder. So we'll see now as Oster now at the mound 0 2, and that ball swung on and driven, and it's going to get over the head of the right fielder, or left fielder, excuse me. That is Dean. And now coming around to score, and not going to be a play at the plate. It's going to be an RBI double for Brandon Ginch. So after all that, it doesn't matter. Brandon Ginch is on second, around to score. Mason, two outs in the inning. And nicely will pull that one to the left side and cut the deficit to one as Kevin Dean picks it up. And the captains crawling back in this one ever so slightly. And now runners on first and second from the RBI single from A.J. Nicely. Well, that's what. So Nicely is able to take a nice lead. And that ball right up the line and coming around third is Bayham. Bayham won't have a problem getting into score. And this one is tied. Craig Johnson ties it up with an RBI single, and the line keeps moving for Christopher Newport here in the bottom of the eighth. What a game. What a game. Joe Cutchins definitely capable of getting the job done here if need be, and he will put the ball in right field, and it might go over the head of the right fielder, Jones, and it does! And Joe Cutchins walks it off for the catch. They walk. They walk Johnson, and one pitch later, Joe Cutchin says, all right, you want to face me? We're going to put the ball over the right fielder's head, and the captains walk off in dramatic fashion. Ten innings, CNU wins.